because we're going to change his name because, you know, legal stuff. I doubt he would go after me. Like, what is he going to get, pennies? <laughs> I'll give you some coffee. That's all I got in my bags. I got nothing. So if it seems like I'm crouching down a little bit, it's because I am. I really am crouching down because, see, look. Hey guys, so, anywho, if you see any glitter in my hair, it's because, oh, there's some right there. Oh, girl, get it, get it. Just kidding. When I was at work last night, I was putting away the flowers for, like, Christmas flowers. And they just love to be real extra with that glitter, so. But we're going to get on with the story time. It's all about a crazy dude that thinks it's cool to cheat on his wife. Yes, another one of those stories. You know how I feel about those. So, um, about three or four years ago, I was dating this guy for about three years, and it did not, it did not end as planned. We, I thought we were going along great. We were swimmingly, we were amazing, we were A plus plus plus. But then he started acting weird, and I had like this inkling that he was cheating on me, and so. When he went to the bathroom, because he would always freak out about his phone. He'd always hide it from me, and he would always say um, that he didn't want me to go through it because he didn't like it with his privacy or whatever. And one time, he left it in the room, and he went to the bathroom. So, I locked the door. I know, bad, bad, bad. I locked the door, and I went through his phone. And he was talking to 12 different women. 12. Talking about, I would love to kiss you right now. I want to be with you. You're so sweet. You're so beautiful. Um, I just want to kiss your neck. Like, this, these things are seared into my skull. They are seared into me. And every relationship that I've been in with since him, I automatically assume it's going to fail. I automatically assume that it's going to go wrong. That it's going to be horrible. That this guy is going to cheat on me just like the last one. That I can't trust him. And I know there's going to be people that says that say, you can't think of it like that. You have to let each person start fresh. And I agree with that. It, But it is really hard to do something like that. To just wipe your hands clean of all the mess that you were dealt with, you know, in your past relationship. It's really hard, you know. Especially for me. Like, I just, I don't want to. I trust the person I'm with right now. But at the same time, I still have in the back of my head... That he could be cheating on me. Even though I know that he wouldn't. It's still there. I can't get it to go away. Every single relationship I've been in. If they don't. If I don't talk to them in like a day or two. And they're busy you know with life. That's just what happens. But like I already have high anxiety problems. So I already overthink everything constantly. Thankfully the guy I'm with now. He has anxiety too. And so he knows that this is why. I kind of have a cold. Sorry. Sorry if I keep sniff sniffling. Um, he has anxiety too, so he knows what it's like to constantly overthink. And I had a panic attack at his house the other day, and he calmed me down, and he was like, I get it, you know, I do the same thing, like, I overthink things, and I let my anxiety get the best of me. And he's like, and I'll always be here for you, and he's just really sweet, you know? But I still, still was thinking it. It's still seared into my brain, no matter how hard I try. It's there. And you know, I don't want some other girl to have to go through that. So every single time that I find out that someone's cheating on someone, even if I don't know that person, I will go to bat for that girl or guy that's being cheated on. Because it's not fair. It's not fair to think that everything's going great and just have everything crash down around you because someone wants to be selfish. If you don't want to be in a relationship, break up with the person. Or tell the person, hey, I want to talk to other people. Hey, can we can we have an open relationship? You know, they might not be cool with it, but it opens the doors and it has them realize that you don't want to be just committed to them so that they're not completely heartbroken. They'll still be heartbroken, but they won't be completely demolished when you let down your guard of all of your shit. All of your shit. You know, it's not fair to the person that, that it happens to. It's not fair. Because I honestly think that it's never going to go away. I'm never going to not think badly of someone in my head when I date them. I'm never, it's never going to happen. 
I'm always gonna think that they're gonna cheat on me until they prove that they're not going to. Like, it's... And it sucks, because it's not fair. It's not fair to me, and it's not fair to the person that I'm dating. All because the person I dated before wanted to be a douche. Like, okay, and now we round back on, round on back to the regular story time. Okay, so since it's two story times in one, I'm gonna round on back to, let's call him... Ricardo. <laughs> Because his name starts with R. <laughs> but we'll call him Ricardo because we're going to change his name because, you know, legal stuff. I doubt he would go after me. Like, what is he going to get? Pennies? <laughs> I'll give you some coffee. That's all I got in my bags. I got nothing. But anyway. So, basically, um, about the beginning of the year, I was single. And I was talking all the way up until like two months ago, I was single. I was talking to this guy, which is Ricardo. And I was talking to all other dudes on there, nothing sexual or anything, because I'm not like that. I don't like to talk about sexual things until I'm in a relationship with someone. And so we were talking back and forth and everything. And it was like, kept calling me baby and sweetie and all this stuff. And like, was trying to be sexual, trying to get me to meet up with him, trying to saying, I look so cute and like giving me compliments all the time and being really flirtatious and being really like something you wouldn't do with a friend, something like overly like, trying to get it at me, you know what I mean? And so, I stopped talking to him. I was like, whatever, you know, I wasn't feeling it. And then, yesterday, yesterday, it was yesterday, I went on Facebook, and it said suggestion friends. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. He looks really familiar. He looks really familiar. Ricardo, Ricardo. And I clicked on his picture. This boy is married and has two freaking kids. And I tried to go on his about to see, like, who the girl he was married to. But he has everything on lockdown, so I couldn't do that. But, 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 we have screenshots. So if that girl ever comes at us, we can give her information to get his ass down. You know what I mean? Like, that sounds bad, but I don't care. Like, I'm all for the person that's getting cheated on. You getting cheated on, you need some fucking proof. Here's your proof, girl. I'll help you. Okay. So basically, I was like, oh, he's like, hey, sweetie, or hey, baby, or something. I don't know. The screenshots will be right here. I don't really remember exactly what he said. And I'm like, oh, so you have a wife and kids? And he's like, no. And I'm like, so that's your doppelganger on Facebook, then, with the same name as you. I'm such a smartass, like, honestly. Who are we to be like, <laughs> Anyway, and then he's like, oh, damn, Facebook. And then I just went on and I'm telling him everything that I said in the video just now. And trying to make him feel guilty so that he'll stop doing this. And then at the end, I didn't reply to him for like 45 minutes because I was driving home. And I think he thought I was trying to like, like get evidence, which I was. <laughs> I think he was trying to, he thought I was trying to like find his wife or something to get him in trouble. And so he sent me a whole bunch of questions, and then since I didn't reply to him right away like I was before, he blocked me on there, so I can't reply to the conversation anymore, but I can still see his profile, and I can still see the actual conversation we had. So I took screenshots of it, and here you go. Uh, what would you do in that situation? Would you try to find the wife? Would you just let him live his own life? Or would you be like me and be, be mean? Not mean, but like... Try to get let the guy see his horrible, nasty ways. Like, I'm trying to help you out, dude. You're screwing your wife over. You're screwing her over big. And she is going to... Oh, I feel for her. I hope she never finds out. Because it's just... A, it's heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking. Okay, guys. So, that's it for this video. And I'll see you all for tomorrow for Vlogmas. I don't know why I decided to do it. But it just seemed fun. So... That all happened today, yesterday, very recent, very exciting, I know, I know, I know. So let me know what you think, comment down below, and all that jazz, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!